Welcome back to the 60th annual Chicago Midwest Emmys backstage show. I'm here with Marcus uh, Riley. Marcus Riley. You, you got me into this backstage show I'm not business. Happy, guys. I know. I'm not I did not happy. win tonight. Okay. I was trying to put happy. a positive spin on things, but tell us why you're I'm not happy. I'm trying to be happy. Here's the thing about the Emmys, right? So you, you come up here and you talk to the winners and everybody's happy and they, they plop down their statue and they talk about their... And, 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 you know, I was really, really excited and I was in the interactivity category and I didn't win. So I'm, I'm not happy about that, guys. But I'm all right with it. I mean, okay. that's all okay. part of the equation. But you, right? have, I mean, <laughs> you have won before. I've, I've won before. Okay. So, you know, that that's all part of... It's all part of the equation, right? Mm -hmm. So you have people who walk out of here really, really happy and justifiably so. Mm -hmm. And you have others who put their blood, sweat, and tears into a project and they don't win. Yeah. And, you know, it was the wrong judging this year. That's what happened. I, it, it was wrong, you, you know what? Uh, <laughs> Chicago's best, the Taco Crawl, they won the interactivity mm. and well-deserved. I'll have to go back and I'll have to look at it. And that's yes. the thing. You, you don't win, you go back and you say, you know what, I've got to work harder next year. Mm -hmm. i got to do something different. i got to see what they did, and maybe they did something that I need to do, you know, a little bit better. But you know what it is? You know what it is with what? Chicago Best? What? It's that Elliot Brambro. He's got that English accent. Yes! In Chicago. That wins every yes! time. People you know? love that. They yeah. see that English accent, yeah. Elliot. Yeah. No, the Canadian's more fun. Listen, right mate. Here. Listen, mate. I got you. I got you next year, mate. I, I, you, you know. Gotta do that now. Well, you know? sound a little more intellectual when you speak that way. I was actually way. born in England, but I, I, <laughs> I, 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 I lost it. Accent? It doesn't work. Oh, jeez. It's gone. But so, Marcus, you started in Chicago, NBCChicago.com. By the way, you know what? Pure yeah. whiskey. Oh, <laughs> that's your Emmy. You said it was coffee. Normally, we have Emmys right here, but you've hey, got your whiskey. And that's the thing. It's like you don't drink anything. It's like, oh, maybe I'm going to be on stage. Right, maybe right, I got to, right. you know. Just like, mm -hmm. <laughs> now you're here on the couch with us, and you can yeah. just, you know, drink out of your paper cup. Yeah, exactly. But, Marcus, you're now in the Milwaukee market. So what is it yes, about the Milwaukee market yes. that stands out to you? Uh, so Milwaukee is awesome. Like, I mean, if you, if you sit there and you watch the show and you see... Mm -hmm. Well, mainly WITI. They they kill. Yeah. They get a lot of awards. You see a lot of things from uh, Wisconsin Public TV. I've seen a lot of things from Fox Sports Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of great work being done in Milwaukee. It's a great TV market. You know, Chicago is obviously the beast. I worked in yeah. Chicago for 10 years. I understand that, you know, what happens in Chicago and great work that happens here. But, mm -hmm. you know, Wisconsin is a market that a lot of great things are happening on the journalism front. Yeah. And, you know, you're also affiliated with the Chicago Midwest Emmys organization. I think mm -hmm. you're like one of the kings the of kings. this organization. Right? Yes. So, <laughs> <laughs> so what are you now? That's like, my official. Second so vice president. I don't even I, like I, the I, title you know, is very I, I've cool. I've been blessed to be part of the uh, Emmy organization for mm -hmm. a long time as a board member, a trustee, uh, the most previous previous past president and second vice president right now. So, okay. you know, the Emmys, you know, was something, this is obviously the jewel in our crown every yeah. year that we put on. Uh, and it's great. It, it, it's great to have a celebration of all of the journalists everywhere to, uh, w within all of our markets to really kind of sit back and, um, and, and a celebration of the great work that we do. So yeah. it, it's great to be able to put that on, to have Peter Alexander here today. Yeah, the moment cool. the moment for me tonight was the beginning of the show where they, mm -hmm. they showed Peter Alexander and uh, the president this week and what happened with Jim Acosta, which was an absolutely powerful moment. We talked about that this week. You know, there were some emails flying back and forth this week uh, when that happened on about Wednesday and saying we kind of need to show that mm -hmm. at the beginning of the show because this is a room full of journalists. Yeah. Um, our industry is under attack right now. Mm -hmm. And this isn't political. That's not a political thing. Mm -hmm. That's not Republican. That's not Democrat. Mm -hmm. Our industry is under attack right now. We're being called fake news. Mm -hmm. The ability to just be able to ask questions mm -hmm. of the administration is under attack. And that's not partisan. Yeah. You know, that goes to the heart of what we do mm -hmm. as journalists. So. You know, I was glad we were able to have that as a part of it, and I'm glad that we were able to have Peter Alexander here as somebody yeah. who stood up and said, "No, this is this is somebody who I work with every day, and 
all we want to do is ask questions of the administration. Yeah. So that really goes to the heart of what everybody is doing here today. Mm -hmm. And it's also very inspirational that we have all of the scholarship recipients here yeah. offering the, the presentation yeah, of the Emmys. Of yeah, mm -hmm. it's kind of like a full circle. Ab absolutely Night. amazing to see, you know, people who, and, and you never know, you know, you mm -hmm. have somebody who's in high school, you have somebody who's in college, and they show some promise, and it's just really amazing to see when they go on to do bigger and better things. And, yeah. And that's the thing, always, you know, and I always try to, and you always should try to lift somebody up, mm -hmm. bring somebody up, give that a helping hand, because you never know if that person if you're going to be able to, if you're going to end up working for that right. person one day right. or asking for that person about a job, it comes for a full circle. And anybody who's worked in TV knows it's a very, very small business. So everything comes back around yeah. eventually. Well, Marcus, I well, hope you'll submit again next year. Cause of we, course. Yeah. Always. Yeah. Always, <laughs> always. You know, I'm joking. Yes. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm disappointed. Of course. Yeah. Every, everybody gets disappointed. Nobody yeah. like wants to lose. But you know what? Hats off to all of the winners tonight. Mm -hmm. They deserved it. And, you know, that's the thing. You go back and either way, you celebrate, whether you're celebrating tonight or whether you're down tonight, you go back Monday mm -hmm. and you start doing good work. So. Yeah, Absolutely. well, and thank you yeah. for all the work that you do to yeah. make all this possible. Thanks, guys, and thank you, yeah, too. Of thank course. you. And can, can we talk about, no, can we, we talk about you, too? Okay, they're wrapping and, us. And, okay. and we don't need accolades. But we're if happy you, to if you were going to give us some. Thank <laughs> Thanks, guys. All right, Appreciate stay it, tuned. There's more to come here backstage live at the Chicago Midwest Emmys.